My older brother is in the Air Force, and my dad was part of the infantry. So I'm in a military family, and I respect the military, and I love America. When I was 10, though, I played at the park a lot, and this old man was always sitting on the bench. And he always looked really sad to me. So I went up to him and I asked him, why are you always so sad? And he looked at me in my America shorts, my America shirt, and my braids that had America bows in them. And he said, you live in America and you love America because here we are free. But he told me that his dad went to Vietnam and he never came home. And he told me that America had made his family a slave because they took something he loved. They took it away from him and they gave him no choice in the matter. His mother committed suicide because her husband, who she loved, was gone. His name was Tommy and I saw him every day for a year. And he told me his stories. He told me that Christmas time with his dad they would decorate pumpkins because his dad loved Halloween, so they did Halloween on Halloween, and they did Halloween on Christmas. And so, when I was 12, I wrote him a poem that I never got to read him because he disappeared. So this is his poem that I wrote for Tommy. To Daddy. I remember the day you left. There was snow piling up against the door. Our tears sprang forth from your fret. Sliding down our cheeks, they fell to the floor. You said that you had to go, that my pleas couldn't allow you to stay. You took your bag in which I stowed the letter you never got to read that day. But Daddy, I also remember all the times before you were gone, the times in the sun and the presence in December. These are the memories that I try to dwell on. I remember the day you left. You said that you had to go. But Daddy, I also remember it that you promised me and Mommy that you'd come home.